Hey everybody, we are teaching Sculptor VR, and this lesson is all about the stretchable box. On the second row of our controller are the cube tools, and the second one is the stretchable. Here's how it's going to work. Normally, with our brush tools, we hold the trigger and paint or create using gestures. With a stretchable box tool, the second one, the yellow one, when you hold your trigger down, instead of filling in with color, it's going to make a dotted outline. As I move around, you can see how it stretches that outline depending on how I move my controller. This allows me to do things like a pizza box shape, a flat rectangle. Or I could do a skyscraper shape, a tall column. It's regular, it's smooth, and the moment I let go of the trigger, it fills it in with that size and shape. So now that I've got this, let's go for a smaller brush and we'll make a pizza box. Wide and flat, a wide, flat, stretchable box shape. So whatever layer you're in, whatever color and material you've chosen, hold your trigger down to start the box. It will keep in the orientation that you started your controller in. So you'll notice, since I held it at a diagonal, my box is stretchable on the diagonal. If I hold it perfectly straight up and down, now my box is stretchable up and down, left and right. That type of thing. I can make a wall very quickly and easily by making a stretchable box as big as I want that wall. Now I've got a giant flat metal wall. I can go in with my graffiti here. Spray paint on this wall because I've created it very quickly and easily with a stretchable box. I can make this stretchable box tall and skinny. I can make the stretchable box wide and flat. I can pull the stretchable box into a full cube. It's based on the orientation of your controller and the direction you pull it in. Not only can it create, but like all of our other tools, or most of our other tools, we can carve with this tool as well. So if I wanted a nice even trench in this wall, I'm going to start here. Make sure your orientation is the way you want your trench. So I can now stretch, stretch, and carve and chop out a section of that shape. Now I'm going to go carve in and down and carve out a chunk in that shape. Make it a little smaller. Whoops. Carve. Whoops. Undo. Carve. And it chops out that entire piece. So our stretchable box, the second tool on the second row, like always, either create or carve, but this is a two-action tool. First, we need to set up the area by clicking and holding, and then releasing completes the action. Very useful to get a large regular shape that you might have trouble with doing freehand. They're all cubical shapes, rectangular shapes, but now once we've got the one we want, now we can go back to one of our freehand carving tools and start to carve into it, smooth away at it, start building up as normal. But if I wanted to get a long regular gouge, tough to do freehand, so I'll use the stretchable box, carve a trench. Carve 
a trench. There is a nice, even trench in the box. Stretchable box tool in Sculptor VR. Because of the way it works, I can't really write my usual message, so we're going to go back to our usual tool to write our thank you message. Join us each week here on youtube.com slash shameless mayhem, as well as live on Twitch TV uh, slash shameless mayhem. We do this all the time, so let us know in the comments if you have questions or if there's tools you'd like us to see. Let us know if there's particular sculptures you're proud of, and we'd love to show them off and link them down below in the comments. Have fun, everybody. Enjoy Sculpture VR.